The following special program, Amazing Discoveries, is a paid advertisement presented in its entirety by Media Arts International. Coming up next on Amazing Discoveries, we'll show you how to turn on the human calculator in you. Now, here's the host of Amazing Discoveries, Mike Levy. Welcome, welcome. I want you to meet a friend of mine who is fondly referred to as the human calculator. You'll see why. Scott Flansburg. What is 497 times uh, 35? What is that? 17,395. <laughs> right on the button. Isn't that fun? But there's more. Scott, here's a hard one. What's 4,379 uh, divided by 7. What is that? 625.57142. Wow, right out to all those decimal points. Now, Scott obviously likes math. But let's be honest with ourselves. How many people in today's studio audience have been frustrated or intimidated by math? How many people here? <laughs> Me too. But you know, the important thing is that if you don't pick up math young as a child, it can actually slow down or stop how far you can go in life. It can limit how much money you can make. And aren't we tired of hearing how America's educational system is falling apart? How other countries like Japan are producing smarter kids? Huh? Well, today's amazing discovery is going to turn all that around because our special guest says that by the end of today's show, everyone in our audience and you at home are going to be able to do complex mathematical calculations not on paper and not with an old-fashioned calculator, but in your head. Scott, how is this possible? Mike, just keep an open mind because today I'm going to show you and everyone watching how to tap into this power we have deep down inside us and we just don't know how to turn it on. That would be great. But before you get started, Scott, we have one of our famous Amazing Discoveries challenges just for you. Are you ready? I'm ready, Mike. Okay. A while back, Scott Flansburg appeared on Gary Collins' home show. And by the end of the show, 22,000 people phoned in and admitted that they were poor in math. And we've invited four of them to join us here on today's Amazing Discoveries. And they're from across the nation. They're from Florida, from California, and even all the way from Alabama. Welcome, everyone. Now, here's the challenge. Scott claims that by the end of today's show, he's going to have you all doing complex math calculations in your head. Are you ready for that? Okay, Scott, go for it. Oh, no, Mike, I'm not going to do it. I've got to do this show with you. So what I did was I brought a friend with me that's going to take him backstage during the show and teach him how to do everything. Okay, bring out Scott's friend. Kevin, come on out. I need Kevin. There he is. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a little boy. You're going to train them? Yeah. Mike. Sh <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, Mike, that's just it. This program is so easy, anybody can learn it. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. Are you sure you can do this? Okay, you're out of here. Take him backstage and train him. We'll check back with you later and see how you're doing. Everyone here want to see some more demonstrations from Scott? Okay, but just to make it interesting, we've enlisted the help of Ray Gayton. Now, Ray Gayton is a certified public accountant from a nationwide accounting firm, Panel Curve Forrester, and he's here to check Scott's accuracy. He's going to follow along with Scott using his adding machine here. And Scott, for every correct answer, you're going to hear this sound. But Scott, should you give us a wrong answer, Ray's going to give you one of these. Okay, thanks, Ray. And to give you some really tough problems, we have an entire Girl Scout troop here in our audience. Troop number 1525 from Van Nuys, California. And they're going to give you some really tough problems, Scott. Are you ready? I'm ready, Mike. But afterwards, I want to show everybody how easy it is and that anybody can learn how to do this. Okay, but well, let's put you to work first. What is your name? Patricia. Patricia, let's give Scott uh, a big, long row of three-digit numbers to add up. Give him four three-digit numbers and Scott's going to add them in his head. Go ahead. 333 plus 454 plus 699 plus 999 okay. And i got to give you one, too. Here's one. 984. 3,469. Right <laughs> Who else? Can you do division, too? Sure, Mike. What, what is your name? Kathy. Cassie, let's give him a hard division problem. How about a four-digit number divided by a single-digit number? 5,973 divided by 7. 853.2857142. Wow! Scott, how do you do that? How do you do that in your head? Mike, it's so easy. If I could, could you have the girl that gave me the addition problems? I want to bring her down here, Go down there, here and teach her how to do it. Okay, and what's your name? Patricia. Patricia. When we normally add a column of numbers up, don't we start on the right-hand side and then go to the left and carry and all that stuff? It's pretty difficult. 
but I'm gonna show you a real easy way to get the answer, okay? Now, instead of starting over here, let's start on the left-hand side. And this one right here, doesn't it stand for 100? Yeah. And what does this two stand for? 200. Okay, so now let's keep a running total in our heads, okay? What's 100 plus 200? 300. Plus another 100? 400. Right, plus 200 more? 600. Okay, now let's go to the top of the next column, which is the tens, right? So this 210 stands for 20, so add it to 600 and what do you get? 620. Plus 20 more? 640. Plus 20 more? 660. Plus 10 more? 670. Okay, now we'll go to the top of the ones. What's 670 plus 3? 673. Plus 6 more? 679. Plus 1? 680. And 4 more? 684. 684, and that's the right answer. Patricia! Isn't you that easy? That in your head! Let's hear it for Patricia. So, Mike, bring me the other girl down that gave me the real hard division problem. I want to show her how to do Good something else. What's your name? You're pretty smart. Cassie, are you pretty good at multiplication? Yeah. All right, I want to show you a shortcut for real big numbers. Like, let's say we wanted to multiply 95 times 95, okay? Now, here's how you do it. How far is 95 from 100? Five. Okay, so what you do is you put minus five underneath, and what do you get? What's 95 minus five? 90, I mean. 90, you had it, you had it, it's all right. And now, take this number here and square it. What's five times five? 25. And bring it right down here, and that's the answer to 95 times 95. 9,025. Is that easy? Wow. Okay, you try one. 96 squared. That means 96 times 96. Now, how do you do it? Okay, 96 from 100 is 4. So four. Minus 4. Minus 4, and what do you get? 92. Okay, write that down. Now, what do I do? Square the 4, which is 16, and put it after 92. Great, and what's the answer to 96 times 96? 9,216. That was terrific. Oh. It's that easy, Mike. Very good. Scott, these girls caught right on. Congratulations, girls. How do you do that? Mike, I see thousands of kids, parents, and teachers every week, and I see the same results time and time again. Well, we want to see those results for ourselves. So we took our camera crew and visited Choya Junior High School in Phoenix, Arizona, where Scott's been teaching his methods and having some pretty amazing results. All right, Nicole, we have your math book, and notice how I have to use a calculator for this. <laughs> You ready? What's uh, 462 plus 385 plus 517? What is that? 1,364. That's correct. That's really good. That was pretty easy, thanks. <laughs> that was easy? Come yeah. On. All right, Kyle, what's 24 times 97? Um, 2,328. <laughs> That's right. It takes me longer to put in the calculator. All right, Carly, your problem is 93 squared. 8,649. I'm not through pushing. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Very good. Okay, here's something different. What is the cube root, and I didn't even know what a cube root was, let alone do the stuff in your head, of 195,112? What's that, Zach? 58. 58, you did. <laughs> Very good. Well, those kids really impressed us. So we visited a woman who's devoted her life to math to discover why Scott's methods are so successful. Dr. Mary Hatfield, you're an assistant professor here at Arizona State University, and you've been a director of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, representing literally thousands of math teachers from around the country. I mean, you're in charge of teaching teachers what to teach and how to teach. Now, I understand that Scott's methods are really very different than the traditional way of teaching mathematics, right? Yes, they are. The traditional way is boring, it's uh, rote memorization, it's procedures and doing something just the way the teacher tells you to do it. And Scott's way is to take those numbers and say, hey, split these numbers apart, put them back together, try this, double this, square that, and all of those, those things that are just procedures for, for kids to learn, Scott makes it come alive and he, he gives the students a feeling that I, I have power over these numbers, I can do something with these numbers and I don't have to do it just one right way and that gives a, a student a lot of, of uh, feeling of confidence, if, if the math anxiety is diminished and, and I see students really turning on to this kind of, of notion of mathematics. Just imagine the advantage that these kids are going to have for the rest of their lives because of Scott's methods. That's something. You know, when I brought this tape piece back to our studios, everyone was so impressed with how fast Carla got the answer that we flew Carla and her Aunt Diana here to our studios in Los Angeles, and we're going to give Carla another tough problem. You ready? You ready, Carla? Okay, but just to show everyone that you have no calculators there, show them your hands. <laughs> Nothing up her sleeves. No sleeves. 
Here's a tough one. I'm going to give you 73 squared. Now, 73 squared is 73 times 73. What's the answer to that? 5,329. Wow. You did it just as fast. Carla's aunt, Diana, that's got to amaze you. It does amaze me. Um, last evening, she was showing me a little bit about how to do it, and I couldn't believe how easy Scott's methods were. So once you catch on, it's not very hard. Scott, looks like adults like your methods, too. You're right, Mike. My program gives parents the opportunity to help their children, but more importantly, help themselves because adults use so much math in everyday life. That's true. <laughs> Tina Jansen. Now, you finished high school, but, but you didn't go on to college. That's right, Mike. Math was real hard for me in high school, and it was very discouraging. So you were obviously intimidated to go on to college. Now, but you recently had to go back to work. You had to go back to the workforce again. Why was that? Well, I married with two children, and we needed the extra income. And everyone knows if you're going to get a good job, you need math skills. Now, you discovered Scott's methods, and come on, don't be modest. Tell us what happened, Tina. <laughs> With Scott's method, it gave me the courage and confidence to accept a job in a big hospital dealing with thousands of dollars every day. Really? That's From right. frustration to dealing with thousands of dollars? Now, what are you, in the accounting department or something? In the billing department. Fantastic. <laughs> Tina, congratulations. <laughs> Tina, can we test you? Sure. We got a great test for Tina. Now, how many times have you gone to the market and you've filled up the basket and you've taken it to the cash register and you never knew how much money you spent until you got there? And sometimes that can be pretty embarrassing, right? Yeah. Happened to you? Well, Tina here is the human cash register. Watch this. You ready, Tina? Ready. Okay. $2.99. $1.26. Pretty expensive bread. And two dollars and seventy-nine cents. Tina, how much money have we spent so far? Nine dollars and fifty-eight cents. Wow. <laughs> but that's really amazing. Mike, that is terrific. But that's just one example of how math can open doors for adults and their careers. Yeah. Now, Joe Manson, you're an attorney. Uh, pardon me for asking, but what does an attorney need with math? Well, Mike, I'll tell you, I hated math. I hated it through high school. I hated it in college. And I was so thankful that there's no math at law school. Uh -huh. But I'm a commercial <laughs> litigator in Fairfax, Virginia, and I use math every single day now. Well, why can't you just use a calculator? Well, because it takes too long. I need the edge. I've got to be quick. I want to give the number to the judge, to the jury, and to opposing counsel. Even during negotiations, you want to whip that number out. Well, give me an example how you use math in the courtroom. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll tell you. When I discovered Scott's methods, it really gave me the edge, the thing that I needed just to get those answers out. Let's assume that my client owes you $11 million. I can handle that. I don't want to pay it all to you, so I say, Mike, look, I'll give you 53%. Come on, Mike, hurry up. I'm going to give you $5.83 million. It's a lot of money. Wow. <laughs> but Joe, what if I said to you, I'm sorry, I'm not going to accept your 53%. I want uh, 78%. Well, Mike, if you think I'm going to give you $8.58 million, we'll I'll see you in court. <laughs> Everyone can use it, huh? Mike, that's just one example of how math can definitely increase your income. Well, Amy Graw is a business major at Arizona State University. Now, a business major, you have to be good in math, don't you? Well, I didn't used to be. I didn't like math very much because I was very slow at it. Actually, I was always the last one done with my test. Oh, that can be embarrassing, huh? Yeah, that's for sure. But I wanted to go on to college and get my business degree, which, like you said, requires a lot of math. So what happened when you discovered Scott's methods? Math became a lot easier because I could get the problems right in my head, which made it a lot more fun for me. And so you can do these things in your head? Uh -huh. Can we give you a little test? Sure. Okay, now you're a business major, which means that someday you want to own your own company, right? Yeah, a couple of them. <laughs> a couple of them. Well, let me give you a problem for one company. Suppose your company has 151 employees in it, and every one of these employees makes $382 a week. And Friday's coming up, Amy. What is your total payroll going to be on Friday? $57,682. Right on the money. Amy, you can do our payroll anytime. Now, Zach, we saw you in the remote piece. You're the young guy who taught me what a, what a cube root is, and then you did it in your head. Now, Zach brought his mom with him. Janelle, mom, you must be very proud of Zach. Yes, I am. You know, math's always been easy for me, but what that can do with Scott's methods is incredible. 
he gets the right answers and he figures it in his head. And you know, it's also increased his self-confidence and his self-esteem, too. All right, Zach, are you ready for yet another challenge? Yes. Come on up here, stand right here, look over there. Here you see a bunch of envelopes. On the outside of the envelopes are dates. Now, inside these envelopes are pieces of paper with the correct day of the week that these dates fall on. And Scott, there's some sort of a relationship where you can figure this out in your mind? Right, Mike. It's a simple algebra formula that'll take you back or forward as far as you want to go, and it takes about 10 minutes to learn. Well, we're going to see how fast Zach can do it in his head, because I'm going to throw a dart at these envelopes randomly, and we'll see if Zach can come up with the answer quickly in his head and let's see, the first date, Zach, is May 12th, 1984. What day of the week did that fall on? Uh, Saturday. Wow. Ready for one more? One more. How about July 7th, 1945? That'd be a Thursday, Mike. Thursday it is. <laughs> Zach, you're pretty good. Scott. This is great. Look what we've seen. We've seen square roots, cube roots, uh, adding, division, all done in your head. I'm really impressed with this, Scott. Thanks, Mike. Mike, I'm glad to see you're amazed with all the techniques I've shown you so far. But what I teach goes a lot deeper than that. You see, my program not only shows people how to do better in math, it also boosts their self-confidence and self-esteem. Today, at the beginning of the show, if I told you and everyone watching that you'd be adding up columns of numbers in your head and squaring no large numbers in your head, you'd say no way, but now you can do it. My program will show anyone how to master all of the math skills you've seen today and much, much more. If you're a student struggling with math, my program will help. If you're a parent or grandparent frustrated because you can't help your children, I'll show you how you can help. And if you're an adult who's always run away from math, my program will give you the right answers. Mike, I'll give you the keys to unlock the human calculator that's inside of all of us. And with that power, there's no limit to what we can do. All right. When we come back, we'll check in backstage and see how Kevin's doing with teaching his class. And we're going to meet a troubled youth whose life has turned around due to Scott's methods. It's a very emotional story. All this and more when we come back on Amazing Discovery. Now you can turn on the human calculator inside of you and get the right answers to complicated math problems in just seconds. Throw away that clumsy calculator. No more pesky pencil and paper and no more endless hours of frustration searching for the right answer. Now you can impress your friends by doing even the most difficult math problems in your head, often faster than a calculator. 1,858. It's so easy. Even a child can do it. Thousands of students all across America are turning on to math by turning on their own human calculators. All right, Nicole, we have your math book, and notice how I have to use a calculator for this. You ready? What's uh, 462 plus 385 plus 517? What is that? 1,364. That's correct. That's really good. That was pretty easy, thanks. That was easy? All right, Kyle, what's 24 times 97? Um, 2,328. <laughs> it's right. It takes me longer to put in the calculator. All right, Carly, your problem is 93 squared. 8,649. I'm not through pushing. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> if you're a parent or a grandparent who's frustrated because you can't help your children master math, don't despair. Scott's methods give people the ability to think mathematically. And after all, thinking is the key to education. And just for fun, you can amaze your friends by telling them the day of the week they were born on in just seconds. When you order your complete human calculator system, you receive four power pack cassettes that show you how to master even the most complicated math problems right in your head. And this step-by-step -step instruction manual that teaches you how easy it is to unlock the human calculator inside of you. Now, you'll come up with the right answers faster than you ever dreamed possible. You get the complete human calculator system for the amazing Discovery's price of just $49.95. Join the thousands who have turned on their own human calculators by ordering now. To order your human calculator system for only $49.95, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-847-2244. Order now to receive your complete human calculator system, including the four power-packed audio cassettes and easy-to-follow study guide. Call 1-800-847-2244 or send check or money order to Human Calculator, P.O. Box 440, Creskill, New Jersey, 07626. Include $4.95 for shipping and handling. Now you or your child can be on the way to becoming a human calculator by calling 1-800-847-2244 now. Amazing 
Human Discoveries. Let's check in backstage and see how Kevin's doing teaching Scott's methods to our backstage challengers. Kevin, you're playing around. Really? Why are you playing now? Because we're done teaching. You're done teaching already? Yeah. Well, we're going to test all you people. Are you going to be ready for these people? Well, yeah. All right. We're going to test you later on. I want you to hear a very emotional story with a very happy ending. Louise Rubanen, you're a juvenile probation officer. You're responsible for children that have been given up on by society and sometimes by their parents. And most importantly, Mike, they've given up on themselves. They have no self-esteem. And one thing I've learned in the 15 years of working with troubled kids is you don't give up. You always look for that spark. Scott and his system was that spark for some of my kids. Kids like Bobby, who had such tremendous emotional difficulties that his behaviors was a nightmare for his parents. Bobby, you hated math? Yes, Mike, I really hated math. What would happen when the teacher came over and slapped down a sheet of problems that Bobby finished these problems? Well, if it would look too hard, I would lay it down and I would go to sleep. You'd go to sleep. You must have really hated math. Yes, I hated it, Mike. And Scott, I understand, showed you a new way to think about math, right? Yeah. What happened? He taught us that it was easier for us to do it in our head than it was to do it on paper or the way they taught us. Really? And now you can do calculations in your head? Yes, Mike. Can I give you a little test? Sure. How much is uh, the 22 times 12? 264. Very good. Bobby's mom is with us also. Mom, that's got to make you feel very proud. Yeah, I am proud of him. Um, as Louise said, it's been a nightmare at times. Bob's been in some special ed classes, not because he wasn't able to do the work, but because he wouldn't do the work. <laughs> And just a couple of weeks ago, he came home and said, Mom, I did algebra today. You know? No kidding. Bobby, congratulations. Scott, this has got to make you feel great. It really does, Mike. A lot of things Bobby can do, anybody else can do, too. And I want to show you another amazing way to get the answer to problems really quick, okay? All right, I'm ready. Remember earlier we did the squaring, and I, sh I told you there were more than one way to get the answer? Right. Well, here's another one. Anytime the last digit is a 5, and you're squaring it, so right. 35 times 35... Here's the trick. The answer always ends in 25. It's guaranteed. It's got to be a 25. Okay. Now, here's how you get the first part of the answer. All you do is look at the first digit, which is a 3. Just What's one more than 3, Mike? Uh, 4. So multiply 3 times 4, and you get 12. 12. So the answer to 35 times 35 is 1225. 1, That's all there is to it? It's that easy, Mike. But now, Mike, Pretty easy. to see the do it, I'm going to write a number. Turn around. You can't see this. Okay, now. Mike, what's 65 squared? 65 times 65. Can I get back to you on that? <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you know? What do you know? Oh, yeah, okay, so it ends in 5, so the, the ending's going to be 25, there right? There you go. What else? And then one more than the first number is 7, so 7 times 6, 4, 2, 2, 5, right? And that's the answer, Mike, 4, 2, 2, 5. Oh, that's easy. That is Isn't that easy? easy? All right, when we come back, we're finally going to see how Kevin's been doing with our backstage challenges, and we're going to test him. All this and more when we come back on Amazing Discovery. Now you can turn on the human calculator inside of you and get the right answers to complicated math problems in just seconds. Throw away that clumsy calculator. No more pesky pencil and paper and no more endless hours of frustration searching for the right answer. Now you can impress your friends by doing even the most difficult math problems in your head, often faster than a calculator. 1,858. It's so easy. Even a child can do it. Thousands of students all across America are turning on to math by turning on their own human calculators. All right, Nicole, we have your math book, and notice how I have to use a calculator for this. You ready? What's uh, 462 plus 385 plus 517? What is that? 1,364. That's correct. That's really good. That was pretty easy, thanks. That was easy? All right, Kyle, what's 24 times 97? Um, 2,328. <laughs> it's right. It takes me longer to put in the calculator. All right, Carly, your problem is 93 squared. 8,649. I'm not through pushing. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> If you're a parent or a grandparent who's frustrated because you can't help your children master math, don't despair. Scott's methods give people the ability to think mathematically. And after all, thinking is the key to education. 
And just for fun, you can amaze your friends by telling them the day of the week they were born on in just seconds. When you order your complete human calculator system, you receive four power pack cassettes that show you how to master even the most complicated math problems right in your head. And this step-by-step -step instruction manual that teaches you how easy it is to unlock the human calculator inside of you. Now, you'll come up with the right answers faster than you ever dreamed possible. You get the complete human calculator system for the amazing discoveries price of just $49.95. Join the thousands who have turned on their own human calculators by ordering now. To order your human calculator system for only $49.95, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-847-2244. Order now to receive your complete human calculator system, including the four power-packed audio cassettes and easy-to-follow study guide. Call 1-800-847-2244 or send check or money order to Human Calculator, P.O. Box 440, Creskill, New Jersey, 07626. Include $4.95 for shipping and handling. Now you or your child can be on the way to becoming a human calculator by calling 1-800-847-2244 now. Now, before we test our backstage challenges, I want you to meet the former state supervisor of mathematics for the entire state of Arizona. Kay Dean, why are Scott's methods so successful? Well, too long we as teachers have given students drill and kill type activities which weren't relevant to life. Scott's methods make mathematics meaningful. All right. Kevin, okay, buddy, you're on. Are they ready? Yeah. You're sure about that? Yeah. Can I test them? Yeah. Okay. Tom, you're from Florida, and you admitted that you're not too good in math. If I give you a multiplication problem, can you do it in your head? Sure. Okay, what's uh, 103 times 107? 11,021. Can you believe you did that? Yeah, it was easy. Now, Audrey, you're a college student. Can you do cube roots? Sure. Okay, I'm going to give you a number, and you tell me what the cube root of that number is. What's uh, the cube root of 614,125? That's 85. All right. Very good. Now, Casey here had a very special, important reason why she wanted to better her math skills. You see, Casey wants to go to space camp, and that takes some pretty sharp math skills, right? Now, what if I told you that if you answer the next question, Amazing Discoveries is going to send you to space camp on us? How about that? You ready? The pressure's on. What's 154 plus 245 plus 316. Now take your time. Space Camp is riding on this. 715. It's Space Camp for you. Congratulations. Scott, what can I say? Kevin, good job. This is fantastic. Mike, I told you and I've shown you. My program gives you the keys to unlock the human calculator that's inside all of us. With this power, you can do anything you want. Uh -huh. I think we all have to agree that Scott's method is truly an amazing discovery. Until next time, I'm Mike Levy, and this is Amazing Discovery. Amazing Discoveries would love to hear from you. Just drop us a line at Amazing Discoveries, P.O. Box 470, Hollywood, California, 90078.